Lovely, amazing uh, evening tonight. Uh, apologies, my mic is not working at the moment, but that's fine. Sometimes I don't need a mic. But anyway, we're going to get into Apokalame, second half of Apokalame. We've got two more Talanoa. Please don't be the guy. After you get your award, then you leave. Don't be that person. Please block that door. We are all living here together, okay? Don't be that guy. Now, our next Talanoa for this evening, I would like to invite Dr. Aumea. Josephine Horman is the director of Pacific Health at the Backwater Guatemala uh, and oversees a team of five Pacific Health navigators, a clinical nurse director and operations manager. She is a public health specialist and GP. And over the past two years, since taking this role, our mayor has established the Waitemata Pacific Community Leaders Forum due to the need to engage and mobilize the Pacific community to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. This forum continues to meet monthly and is an important mechanism to connect our Pacific communities to our Waitemata Hospital and specialist service and help improve the health outcomes of our Pacific peoples. Please, come on and put your hands together for Dr. Woo! for our Pacific patients, our families, is the language. 
we talk about this, we know about this. So our Pacific team has fluent speakers in Cook Islands, Maori, Samoan, Tongan. We've covered our bases, but we struggle for Tuvaluan, Tokelau, Niue, Kiribati, Fiji. And so we know that we have more work to do to make sure we have a workforce that is there for all of you when you need it. The other thing we have also is we have about 400 Pacific staff in Waitemata. And we work really hard, our little Pacific team, we work really hard to make sure that we are connected to them. Takama Afuge is the Pacific Mental Health Service um, in Waitemata. I think we're the best in Auckland. Um, it's a fantastic team of our, of our Pacific people. You know, back in the day, we didn't talk much about mental health, and yet that's one of the biggest struggles our families are facing, especially during COVID. And to have Takama Afuge there for us, working with our people, it's very nice, and we work, we work well with them, we help each other, and they support us as well. The other thing is, right across the hospital, the nurses, we have about 150 Pacific nurses in Waitemata. So some of you will see some of them when you come into the hospital. And can I just encourage you, if any of you or your families come into the hospital and you haven't seen Pacific after day, the second day, Call, tell the ward nurse, tell someone you want the Pacific Service to come. And we can come help you and make sure you are looked after as well as can be. We can help you so that you understand what the doctors and the nurses are saying and so forth. Okay? I, I strongly believe all of us Pacific in Waitemata, when you come to our hospital, you will receive the best care and we will try our best to make sure that that happens. When we're not perfect, but we will try our best. Um, my voice is not loud. tonight is the connections of, you know, right up from the government level, we've got MP Shannon, and then we've got our hospitals, our Tefatu Water, down to our PHO, uh, our, you know, uh, primary care health organizations, and then to us, you know, people that are on, on the grassroots, people like ourselves, you know, we all stand together, you know, to drive our... Sorry, to drive our waka, yes. hey. <laughs> Sorry, you know, in my Maori Tino language, you know, the car is waka as well. But anyway, is the mic on? Or should we carry on like this? Now we've got one more presentation, which is a very short presentation. Uh, Janice has promised it's going to take two minutes for her data presentation. You need to know about the numbers, about your achievements. So after uh, Dr. Almea, then you'll get to hear from uh, uh, Janet Amasoi Handel who is the uh, uh, public health manager for, uh, for the Fono. But anyways, I'm running out of words. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, by the way, who knows the score, the score for the finals at the moment? Who's been watching a Sky Bowl in here? Chief is winning. Some of you have been a Sky Bowl. Chief is winning. Huh? Who's winning? The Chiefs are winning! <laughs> but having said that, with the expansion of the funnel, and I uh, should have said this in the beginning, um, Tevita, sorry, Fiungalu, um, with the expansion of the funnel in South Auckland, is sending a, a positive message to other healthcare providers to lift their game, to lift their game in, in terms of providing care for Pacific and Maori people. 
And this is coming from someone that's working for another field show. So I would like to acknowledge um, Tevita and Fono, you know, just for uh, uh, positively sending out messages to other uh, <laughs> providers like uh, Total Healthcare PHO, the South Seas, and uh, 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 the Madre Health, and Otahu Health, and Otara Health, and... Okay. And voila! You guys say, Awa! Okay? Head, shoulders, ears, and nose. I know we're all sitting down, so no knees and toes. Head, shoulders, ears, and nose. One, two, three. Head, shoulders, ears, and nose. Ears and nose. Head, shoulders, ears, and nose. Now. Fijian patient, 
or a UN patient, or we need a Tongan doctor to talk on our behalf to the Tongan patient in the community, it makes a big difference when we have the same language spoken, the same culture, we understand. You don't have to explain anymore. So I think I've said enough thank yous to everybody, but thank you very much to um, the whole It's a pleasure working with you, um, Tevita and your team, and you guys are just at the top of your game. And I know we have more work to do for our people in Waitemata, and we have to keep working. Thank you to our government, our strong member of parliament in North Shore. So, you know, it's just been an amazing journey through COVID. Because of the government policies, many of us are here tonight. Many of us would not have been here tonight if COVID had been allowed to run through very quickly in this country. And remember, because of our tight border control measures and all the other um, mandates that had to be put in for that time, many of us are alive today and I'm really pleased with one of the biggest um, success stories of this country. I know sometimes we don't always see what happens outside. I am a public health specialist. When I was sitting in um, the Cook Islands for the initial part of the COVID pandemic in 2020, I was looking at New Zealand to see where we're going to move, what is the Cooks going to do, and also very proud of the Cook Islands, um, the New Zealand government, for what they did to help Maori, help Pacific, because we needed the most help. So, you know, there's many things that we can talk about tonight, but I think I've said enough. And I want to say thank you again to our people. Kia manuia e, kia autu o tato, te aura a tato, te ere me me ki moa. Kia ora ana, kia manuia. Me taki, me taki, Dr. Aumea Josephine Harriman. Thank you so much for being here tonight. It is really important, the role and the work that you do in the hospitals are really important, you know, because us, especially our older generation who are not really uh, you know, engage hard with the uh, non-Pacific doctors and non-Pacific staff, but it's good to have Pacific navigators in the hospital. So please, all of us, don't be shy, don't be putama, don't be ma, to ask for an interpreter, okay? Or uh, someone to come and talk on your behalf, okay? The follow up, I uh, have nothing up to say about the follow -up. You know, in the COVID-19 lockdowns and all the vaccination events, when people ask me, have you got any food parcels that you're going to make this open? All the follow -up. Uh, Have you got any, uh, all the followers. <laughs> I'm so sorry, to be that one. I know you're having your bunch of, you know, with all the referrals coming from me. Anyways, we put that together for the talking about manager. Okay, that's what I'm going to talk about.